One picture and we're history. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, me too. I'm not trying to be history. Oh, dude, that two nimble bastards sleezing through under the gate. I would do it. You'd have to do it if that was in your town. Oh, man. This place, have is, to do this? This place is sick. Oh, let's just take the picture and get out of here. I know. What are y'all doing? You're waiting for something to come ambush you. What? Now, wait a minute. I gotta be in the picture, too, or no one will believe I was here. Shut up and take the picture. Who are they gonna think took the photo? Guys, guys, don't fight. I'll take the picture. Who the fuck is you? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, he's Casper, the friendly ghost. It all makes sense now. He's just a good guy. I've never seen nothing on him. This is gonna be fucking crazy. $1.4 million. <laughs> Alright, there was an ashtray right next to you. Since foundation. Yeah, with the livestock. Oh. What did the old stiff leave me? I believe that what the bereaved is trying to express is that the uh, sudden death of her only father has left a great gaping void in her life. Carrigan wonders what he has left her to fill it up with. Whipstaff Manor in Maine. No way. And? And I'm late for lunch, so if you'll excuse me. <sighs> I just spent the last two days holding his clammy hand, waiting for him to kick and all I get in return is one lousy piece of property. Lousy. Now it's condemned. Enjoy. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. This is not fair. Oh, please. Flipper got more money than me. Carrigan, the deed's in there. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, it's like some Harry Potter scroll. Buccaneers and buried gold, a treasure hold. Dips, you idiot, get it out. Why is Dibs putting up with this shit? What's he got going on? I'm gonna get what I deserve. Carrigan, I... You deserve a fucking... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. It's like the Warner Brothers studio, something crazy, the history behind it. What do you think? I think you're gonna get wet. Yeah, you are. Hey! Yo, pop her tire so she can't get back. The aesthetic of this is kind of reminding me of Tim Burton's Batman a little bit. What a dumb. What a dumb. Are we seeing the same thing? That would be the best thing you could ever inherit. Who is it? Who is it? Then I'm gonna reach over there. We can't answer that. Why not? It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, is he the caretaker? Uh, it's the friendly ghost. I must warn you, I am armed. What the fuck, dude? Why is he got a gad on him? Cut the crap, okay? If you don't show yourself right now, I'm gonna have you arrested for trespassing. Jeez, calm down, lady. I know, seriously. Hi, I'm Casper. Whoa! No, no, no. Shh, you shouldn't do that. Or you wake the. Wake the who? Wake the what? Awaken the fucking horde, bro. It's like Left 4 Dead. Oh my god. We're gonna need the backup, dude. The backup, Father Pope. So tell me, you have experience? I have quite a bit of experience. Oh, it looks like he runs a deli. It's like no problem whatsoever. Piece of cake, piece of crumb cake. Alright, if you say so. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. What else am I gonna do? I ain't paying someone. Yo, they fucking killed him? How did it go? Was uh, no problem. Piece of cake. What? Who are you gonna call? Someone else. What the fuck, dude? This is like the ultimate multiverse movie. Oh, there's no way. You can't steamroll a building like that. It'll take fucking 40 years. Are you sure we're not going a tad overboard here? Dibs, I have huffed and puffed. Now I want to rip this place down. Just set off some bug bombs in it. People, people, please. Your sweaty male construction types are quite sick. Dibs, do something. He's gonna have. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You'd have to be sitting on the outside perimeter so they can't get you and just swinging that pendulum thing in it, chipping away. Hey, hey, no, we're just kidding. Honest. It's just a prank. Sorry. 
Oh, he only man. wants a friend. He just wants some friends. Did you ever feel the way Priscilla Cow felt? No. That oh. you'd like to be completely different? What the fuck are you saying? I hope you can be glad to be yourself. I wish I was Corbin Blue. Thing to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> More on the Pentagon Playboys as the story unfolds. What a bad name. Do you need someone to talk to if you're a ghost? But the bottom line is they need help sometimes. Oh, he's a good guy. Just like the rest of us. Oh, shit. What was that zoom? Unexpected death of his wife, Amelia. Dr. Harvey gave up conventional psychiatry. Now, along with his loner daughter, Kat. <gasps> what is this special? Doc Harvey travels from town to town. I'm a loner, too. Did your father ever hurt you in any way? It's my father. It's the first day of school, and I'm sure I'm going to have homework, so could you please? Yeah, buzz off. Kerrigan. All right, Casper, let's chill out, dog. How the hell, dude, he can fucking go international? How would you be upset? I'd be going everywhere. What is fucking like static shock? You could you could take down nations as him. The living impaired are known for haunting us. Uh, why is he talking like that? Is what's haunting them. It's a lack of resolution. Dude, he's just, he's Mr. Dreamy, but he's a little weird. With unfinished business. And it's my job to find out what that is. Yeah, she's like, I can fix them, maybe. This week, they're in Santa Fe. But next week, who knows? Ooh. Man, you should be fired just for that line. Get me Santa Fe. Oh, it's the little Saint Nick. Oh, the people say. I need those glasses. Now, I don't care what they said. You are not demented. You're a picture of mental health. <laughs> oh my god, he's like peak physical condition. Explaining afterlife therapy to what's junior high kids. Hey, some people- Just lie. You're the one who's been packing up my stuff and moving me around the country. Yeah, that is fucked up. I would just like to be in one place long enough to make a friend. I mean, come on, we're moving to Friendship, Maine. Even I might make one. Oh yeah, the kids up in Maine are normal. Guy your age <laughs> oh, no. is more likely to become a bank hostage than to make new friends. You sound like your mother. Yeah, your mother who ain't here anymore. I know, seriously, dude, she doesn't even have a mom and this jackass is just moving her from school to school. Mom's not a ghost, Dad. Oh, that's why he's doing it. He's a mental case. Oh, yeah, she is. She has unfinished business. Oh, yeah, he's got some unfinished. Bangs. You go with me this one last time. If I don't find what I'm looking for, it's over. No more moving, no more ghost mining. Yeah, that's one shot, kid. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Promise. laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> deal. Oh, fucking deal, man. Yo, check his other hand. He's crossing his fingers up his ass or something. We didn't see that other hand. Oh, man. Los Angeles, you're gonna meet the crackhead ghost. I'd be terrified road tripping in that sack of shit. Nah, no, Maine is beautiful though. All of New England during the fall cannot be beat. Friendship Island. Oh, yeah, that's the dream. Beautiful. Oh, this is, this is gorgeous, dude. Kinda looks like Spy Kids. It's not so bad, huh? Stephen King. Stephen King's a kind of a weirdo, though. Makes great books, though. Great movies. Harrigan, Crittenden, and this is Dibs. I'm a close personal friend. And this is my daughter, Kat. His close <laughs> personal daughter. Yeah, his personal assistant. You have a beautiful daughter, Dr. Harvey. Very beautiful. You're kind of hurting my face. Sorry. Now. What is wrong with her? Exactly what kind of time frame are you looking at? Please tell me you just... Go in the house and spray and that's it. Motherfucker therapy ain't that instant. It takes time. Gotta get in your soul. I will be watching you. Very closely. I right, but that's gonna throw my mojo off on trying to like level with the ghost. Have a lovely night. Hey, you too, buddy. You're gonna need it dealing with all that shit. She's here. She's in my house. I did it. What if she likes me? Yo. I'm Casper. <laughs> Sup, give me four. Oh my god. God, I'd kill for a pinky. Why doesn't he have a pinky? <laughs> See? That was easy. This is unbelievable. Penny stole for now, but we ought to get a box of 20 amps in the morning. Yeah, she's smarter than you, doofus. Oh, this is un I'm gonna go find a room, Dad. You're gonna be all right. Take your pick. Hey, if I'm not back in 10 days, 
send a search party? No, nah, don't send one for me. That means I'm having the time of my life up there. This is crazy. Imagine living in this. Yo, he's got to go. Fatso? Yo, that's messed up. And stinky? Oh, that's even more messed up. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be called stinky. I don't know. I don't like the ceiling. It looks like a tissue. This might not be the room, kid. The windows are cool. This one, really? Let me see the other ones, though. There's a girl on my bed. Yes. What the fuck? How old is he? How old is he? He's a little... He's a little... Hey, Space Master, in here. What'd you call me? Ooh, this is a nice room. You're right. This place is a freak's house. It's nice for your father. Oh. Mom belongs over here. Yeah. This place is fine. Good. More than fine. Imagine the Halloween party. You'd be throwing do some murder mystery shit, but make it like really, really scary. <laughs> like long legs. <laughs> oh my god, it's beating the piss out of him. The longer he waits, the more he's going to seem like a weirdo. He already is kind of a weirdo. But I get it from his perspective. He's just an outcast, bro. He's so sad. You see the blanket? Back up, too. Back up, back up. Uh, uh, hi. Man, perfect first impression. What a jerk. Why was the water poo-poo? Oh, no! Yo, even still, if the water looks clear after that, it's still shit. Better? Look <laughs> the demons. I saw a ghost. And it was round and it was white and see-through and- Honey. Yo, he's the ghost hunter and he's like, let's not get fucking crazy. I think I'm as crazy as I thought you were. I promise. No, 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 but remember, ghosts can't hurt you, okay? I mean, they did though. Let's just see about this ghost, all right? Come here. <laughs> is this guy Harry Potter? He's just trying to live a normal life. Casper! There. See? Pleasure to meet you, sir. Put me down! This is insane! That'd probably be my response, though. Wait! Dad, I'm sorry. For what? For not believing you? Alright, this ain't the time. There's a literal ghost in the house. Oh no, the sleaze balls. I want to know who they are. Them ponies run faster when we go down to Belmont. Here, Flicker. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are they to him? Say, Bulbhead, why ain't you inside doing your chores? Yeah, where's dinner? I'm starving. Look at me, I'm wasting away. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Say, short shit, you wouldn't be trying to keep us out of the house, would ya? No. I can see right through that bulbous little head of yours. It's just such a lovely night. I thought we'd have fun just eating under the harvest moon. Dude, they're abusing this kid. Why does he live with three random... <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're really gonna butcher this guy. But if they like eating humans, why doesn't Casper like eating humans? He's just that good of a guy. <laughs> that does seem like the reasonable response, though. No! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Dad? Why would you lock her in there? Oh, you're gonna need to... You're gonna have to reach back there, son. Dude, that's pretty badass, though. Dad? Hey, boys, we got a closet case here. It's probably killed her, dude, with that much force behind that. Smell gram. California roll. California roll. What the hell? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Anybody for a little shish dog? <laughs> I am. Oh, all right, fucking Captain Jack. Captain Jack, you up? <laughs> Yo, for early '90s, this is uh, this is pretty good. Yo, therapist. Dad. Dad. You're a therapist.
Caspi, you literally just butchered this whole thing, my dude. Oh! God, I wish he had like a secret ghost weapon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, I take that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't like that, bitch. Dad? Are you okay? Sorry, Jerry Badass. That was actually a really uh, good looking scene. Well choreographed and shit. To be able to include those 3D animated like that. I would never leave. Why would you? Dude, the house from Knives Out is just on a different level. You gotta get, you gotta get my EMF reader and shit, the spirit box. That's how you talk to these fools. Ghost hunting vlogs on the second channel. Go peep that shit. Oh no, no, please don't scream. I, I promise it won't hurt you. If you scream, you'll wake up my uncles and they get awfully cranky. His uncles? Bro, who are you people? Why are you in here? You're so cold. Yeah, but it saves in the heating though. Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't trust them. I can see right through you. Kind of happens when you don't have any skin. <laughs> Back up. What are you made of? You know that tingling feeling when your football's asleep? I think I'm made of that. What? That's a pretty awful feeling. Yo, for just that, there's no way I could go an eternity like that. I guess you get used to it. Yo, that's pretty. All right. What the Sunny side up kind of makes me yak. No problem. <laughs> Oh my god. So he's a chef. He's like Eddie's cook off. It's pretty legit. Can you go invisible? <laughs> that one's easy. Oh, you can still see that. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get away with that in real life. Maybe at night, but. Can you hurt me? No. Can I hurt you? No. I guess not physically, but he could stab you. Oh. Uh, whoa, what's he feel like? Five gum, <laughs> what's he feel like? Morning, Dr. Harvey, uh, He's like, I wasn't touching, I wasn't touching. Yo, I see you bitch play in the groundwork. Yeah. Honey. You okay? I'm more than okay, Dad. If you touch him, you feel five gum. How about a paper? New York Times, the journal. Sure. Coming at you. Coming at you, player. They napalm in the site. How did they get out? I hope that really is the end of them. I right, good fucking riddance, bro. Yes again, bone bag. <laughs> Fella. He's, he's doing all these racial slurs at humans. How dare you serve these air sucking intruders before us? I was just kidding. There's some decent vulgarity in this movie for a kids' movie. Okay, okay. Wow. Yes. Diabetes on a plate. This has got no respect for us. After all we've done for the little glowworm. Man, what the hell do you think you're doing, Bulbhead? This floor used to be dirty enough to eat off of. But we have company. Well, company loves misery. Boom! Oh, this, they, they are such jackasses. You guys are disgusting, obnoxious creeps. Yeah, for real. Shut up, skin bag. Piss off. Ooh. Cool thing. Oh, you want to be late, so... Uh... Drop it! Too late! <laughs> it's too so late. I love that they got beef like that. Oh, they're gonna eat your ass up, son. You can meet in my office and start the process of crossing over. <laughs> well, it's your hour. What? Watch it! This is awesome. The vibe. Bone bag. Yo, is that throwing the human slurs at him? Yeah, you skin bag. What was he saying? Oh my god. No, not Marshall Junior High, dude. Nothing good comes out of the. Was someone laying on the ground? Hey, thanks, Leroy. 
All right, back up. My name's Vic. Vicky with the sticky. Coming, Vic? Oh, a Molly ringworm. In Vic's mind. Yeah, not for long. Not for long. We're gonna have to push back the Halloween dance just by a couple of months. So we'll have it in July. My parents have finished the uh, new boathouse, so I'm sure it'd be no problem having the uh, party at my place. Oh my god, they're so rich. We have a new student today. I'd like you all to meet Harvey Kathleen. <laughs> Would you like to come up and say hi to everyone for me? What was so funny about that? This is a nice classroom. Man, my classrooms look like fucking doctor's offices. Like, this This has some, like, character to it. <laughs> so, why don't you tell us something special about yourself? <laughs> no one sees that. They're like, yo, fucking Jay Washington's moving. So where are you guys living? In outer space. <laughs> <laughs> Whipstaff. Uh-oh. You actually live there? Inside, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Well, yeah, if you drink blood. Shit. <laughs> yeah. It's Curtis. Ms. Mr. Curtis. This girl has a seriously creepy house with room to spare. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought we were having the party at my place. Don't I get in sailor. You guys aren't imposing a party on my house. Is the party at my house. Raise your hand. Not me. Whipstaff? Yeah! Did they just impose a party? Oh. Paul! <laughs> yeah. Cass was like, no, we can't hurt you. These guys are fucking nine mils out of their fingers. She's my wife, Amelia. She's deceased. Even better. Now, don't you feel just awful? Ah, uh, I was just goofing. Well, don't be goofing on Amelia. She's as nice a person as they come. Wait a minute. What are you saying? Yeah, what? You've actually seen her. Wait, you think I'm blind? Of course I've seen her. Who hasn't? Are they fucking with him? I don't know. Maybe we could work something out. You keep that ghoul Crittenden off our backs, and I'd say we got a deal. Right, boys? No, there's no way. No, this that is... That was fast. It's scamming his ass. No. It's just gonna be the fat dude. My man! Oh my god. Vic! What are you doing here? Can I come in? No, you just did a 40 mile hike up here. So, did you ask your dad about the party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, kinda hit the ceiling. I think it's gonna be okay. Cool. Cool. So, uh, listen. Oh, alright, Mr. Hair Swoop. Wanna hang out with me at the party? I'd love to. All right. Cool. Yeah, uh, cool. Wait, but aren't you a Molly ringworm? Aren't you two a thing? What are you doing? What is going- Did you ask her? Yeah. And she actually believed you? <laughs> it's really bites. Yeah, bites. You're a fucking asshole. You know that. And what's up with this guy? He's got, he's, he's, he's got no spine. Like, just say no. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this bites. See? I'm a good dancer. Whoa! He seems like he's three. He seems too young for her. Come on, we'd have a great time together. Hasper, I have a date. What's this Vic guy got that I don't, huh? Everything. How about a reflection? Oh. Yeah, but who cares about that? But can he do this? <laughs> Casper! <laughs> he can fly with her? Casper! Casper! Yeah, that wouldn't be cool, me, if whenever he puts me down. Casper, this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. You don't remember what school you went to, how old you were? Not even your mom. Is that bad? No. Yeah, it means you probably got hit by a truck or something. You got no memory. Well, Casper, bro, he doesn't even know who he is. It's probably the way he died. Fucking steamrolled. Sometimes I worry that I'm starting to forget. <laughs> forget what? Who I am. My mom. Oh. No, I get it. That's so sad. She always used ivory soap. And when she'd hug me, I'd breathe her in. Ivory soap is solid. The green one. Or I think it's Dove. If my mom's a ghost, did she forget about me? Ah, probably. No. Alright, that's some bullshit. You just told me how you can't remember anything. Would you go to the Halloween dance with me? No, you're like three. She's like 12. Can I keep you? Mm -hmm. What? Oh my god, this is weird. He's a little sleaze ball. Oh my god, he's like a cat. Yeah, you sleep by my feet, bitch. 
at night armor is going in my room that's not staying in the hallway dude a fucking legit suit of armor back there would look would go awesome i was thinking that maybe i could use it to buy this perfect costume i saw in a store downtown i want to look nice like date nice Really? What'd you say? Until Miss Crittenden pays me, that thing is pretty worthless. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I can come up with something perfect for the party. Yeah, you know, you'll be alright. Let's have these bozos rob a bank. Oh. oh, you gotta walk through that. Oh my god. I live up here. You ain't thinking about packing it in now, are you, Doc? We're just starting to have fun. It ain't often we meet a bone bag as amusing as you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is an outrage. This is a pawn. What? They are meant to get the ghost out of a house, and what does he do? He gets the ghost out of the house. Exactly. Oh my god, yo, this lady's gonna plant C4 on, like, the bases of the house. It's about time. What? What? Oh, look familiar? This oh, this was his room? I had five fingers. I remember. Casper. Rudy! Yo, I hope he becomes human. I want to see what he looks like. Check it out. Hands up, cat. What is that? What the hell? What the, who, who, whose is that? He's like, this was my favorite sweater. It was my mom's. Oh. Beautiful. Can I? Go ahead. Oh, I guess it is a Halloween party. You could dress up like Mel Gibson from The Patriot. I begged and begged my dad to get me this sled. He acted like I couldn't even have it. I came down for breakfast and there it was. Just for me. For no reason at all. I went sledding all day and my dad said that's enough, but I couldn't stop. I was having so much fun. And got late, got cold, and I got sick. Oh no. Dad got sad. Terminal? Is that how we died? What's it like to die? Like being born. Oh, man. Only backwards. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't go where I was supposed to go. I just stayed behind so my dad wouldn't be lonely. Oh. That's so sad. Did it for Johnny, man. Ah, Colonel McGravy. McFadden claimed that he was haunted by the ghost of his dead son and that he invented a machine to bring him back to life. The Lazarus. Ooh. La Pazuli, what's it called? It reminds me of Tales from Sonic. <laughs> yeah, buddy. No, wall, human, stop! Oh my god. Go ahead, sit down. That's unbelievable. Jasper! What the hell? Dude, what is this? Oh, oh, I, I, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yo, my gums would be bleeding. This is like a saw trap. What is this? This guy built Canopy Lake Park in his house in the depths of it. What was that? The up and atom machine. My dad was a great inventor, but he had a little trouble getting going in the morning. Didn't he ever hear of caffeine? I know building all that's a little. Dad might be a psychopath. <laughs> Start slicing him up. He's like, ah! My dad's lab. Down here, he could do whatever he wanted to. Man, we had so much. What was his dad? Did what did he invent that like got him rich? Rich that thought the treasure hold. Come on. I forgot this was all even about the treasure. What about that? That? Nah. <laughs> That's the vault. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you for letting the bad guys know. It's gotta be this. Oh, that's a nuclear reactor, buddy. Ooh. <clears throat> Frank and Weenie <laughs> by Derek. It's like one of those Italian cookies. What is it? Ooh, 
what was he doing down here? Was this guy part of the deep state? He's running all these secret black budget programs and shit. You'll drink it, you might grow a third eye. What is this? Here, that's what makes the whole thing work. What is it? Kind of an instant primordial soup mix. It's what brings ghosts back to life. Human blood? Just enough for one. So how about you use it? You just turn evil? What? This is so crazy. Casper, I'm gonna be alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, worse, dude. You might come back like a frog. Is she gonna be human for real? How am I gonna do this? I couldn't even get my Easy Bake Oven to work. All right, well, then that's kind of sad. Yeah, you hit the wrong lever. You're gonna kill this guy. <laughs> that's the chair. <laughs> that's a sick chair, though. <laughs> Would have broke my toe on that. Oh, you son of a bitch. He put it up. He put it in the up position. Yo, what's gonna happen? No, he's taking it. You know, you gotta be a real jackass to do that. Oh, no. Am I alive? Oh. Oh, no. Do you have any idea what this means? Yes. You don't have to be scared of death anymore. Hell, you could even fly through walls. Certainly could get to whatever's behind those walls. If you were a ghost. If you were. Oh. <gasps> ah! Is she... Uh, is she all right? If you would just... Oh, right in the caca. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Yo. How is she perfectly fine from that fall? Yeah, goodbye. Oh. There's no chance she survived that. You a ghost yet? Caraga! Just committed first degree murder. Not so fast, little man. The bitch is back. The bitch. Yo, she's that bitch. Why is she like a cuphead villain? Hey, this Dr. Hobby's got a lot of spirits, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he's got his whole miserable life ahead of him. So we could do him a favor, put him out of his misery. You can't just force this guy to be your friend, though. You guys remind me of what it's like to hang out with the boys. You are absolutely there for each other. I mean, he's gonna blow his head off with a shotgun. You guys are great. Hey, Come here, you bastard. Oh, why is he doing it on the lips, though? He's <laughs> just assaulting them. They're like in disbelief. All right, boys. The night is young. We are going to clean out every bar this town has got. Oh, no, no. <laughs> now, what is that in front of the doors? She's going to need all the therapy in the world. Her dad's gone, too, now. I think my ears just popped. <laughs> You're stuck with this kid? <laughs> Oh, oh, she's nasty as a ghost. <laughs> my treasure! You mean my treasure. Oh, how is it yours? You don't fucking own this. What are you doing? Helping you, remember? Remember what? This! He's... He's on a different level of down bad putting up with this shit. Oh, come on, Casper, whack his ass. Bye. <laughs> yep, goodbye. Yep, see you later. Goodbye. Oi. <sighs> We're here. Oh my God. Amber, do we have to do this? Dude, grow a fucking spine. Stay back. Keep away from me. Casper. Don't come near me, you spiteful spook. I'll knock you into the next world. You better watch your mouth. Let's go. Ta -da! Oh, Carrigan. How kind of you to drop in. <laughs> You know, <laughs> shut up. Learn from you. It's always kick them when they're down. And baby, you're six feet under. Oh, what a shame. Oh, bloody. You got the power. I got the treasure. And you have a flight to catch. Huh? Yeah. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, dude, she's so annoying. I have my chest, my mansion, I have everything. I'm perfect. Ooh, ooh. Wait, I lied. I have unfinished, <laughs> lots of unfinished business. I, I'm not ready to cross over yet. You tricked me, you white little rat. Yo, she's so evil. Oh, please save that, dude. Oh, thank Christ. My treasure. A ball? Baseball? That's your treasure? It's autographed by Duke Snyder, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Who cares? Casper, it's time. Oh, I can't wait to see what he's gonna look like. Who's it on your dad? Or Casper? Dad? Yeah. Hey! Who's the girl? Dad, it's- Oh, that's messed up. Cat! Cat! Cat Blue! That's sad. Don't you remember? Yeah, I remember. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> no! What a piece of shit. Oh, that's gonna come flooding back. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, what have I done? I... Okay. You're an idiot, bro. Come on, Dr. Harvey. You need this more than I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. What if you split the serum? Yeah, buddy, he's back. Oh, I'd be devastated, though. I thought we almost lost each other for a minute there. <laughs> Could never lose your dad. Your party started without you. Yeah, they're not my friends up there. They're, I don't even know what they're planning. The date's probably waiting. Maybe we should get going. Yeah, he just saved your dad. People are gonna freak. Let me see. Cool. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Kill this Fred Flintstone. Oh, 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 careful, careful. <laughs> Why does he got a cigar? Oh, Casper just can't catch a break. This poor guy. Cat's mom? That was a very noble thing you did tonight, Casper. I'm giving you your dream in return. But it's just for tonight. Sort of a Cinderella deal. Oh, gee, thanks. Till midnight? Ten. Ten. Hey, Cinderella got until midnight. Cinderella wasn't 12 years old. Why you gotta be such a jackass? Hook me up. Oh yeah, you get till 10. But lady, it's already fucking 7 o'clock. Is he gonna look like Jason Statham? This guy's a playing card. What a fucking weirdo. Oh, here he comes. She's mesmerized. He... What the fuck? I told you I was a good dancer. What the fuck? Can I keep you? What? What does that mean? What does that mean? He said that earlier too. Casper? What the fuck? Yo, he's a stud muffin. He's like, yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> someone just shit by his ear. It's Jesus, baby. Yo, he's back. Oh my god. Yo, it's his wife, Miranda. Hello, James. Okay, like that's the first thing you say. Why are you wearing red? Let's just say you know three crazy ghosts who kept their word. Why is she like Joaquin Phoenix and so powerful? James, Cat is growing up beautifully because of you. No wonder I miss you so much. Sweet talker. Yeah, a girl really needs her mom, though. That's the thing. That's so unfortunate. That's what I mean. He got what? 27 minutes on the dot? Where are you going? Where I can watch over both of you until we're together again. Skybox? Goodbye, James. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's going to fade away and they're going to fucking think it's Chris Angel. I... It's time for me to go. Casper? Holy shit, yo. He's been plotting that since day one. What? Boo? Oh 
Oh my god, they're front flipping off of it. Not bad for my first party, huh? Couldn't have been better. But why does he sound so young? That's how it ends? That's how it ends? So you guys voted for this one over on Patreon, so if you would like to be able to vote on what we watch next, you can find that over on Patreon, linked in the description, along with the full-length commentary track to this movie and all the other Patreon exclusives. Just watched Casper today for the main channel. I thought it was actually really solid, but Casper's a little bit of a freako, a little bit of a sleazeball McGee. For, for some reason, when he's in ghost form, he seems like he's three years old, but then I knew kind of the moral of the story was gonna end up being him being able to be a kid because he really wanted to get with that main girl. And then he comes out looking like handsome Squidward when he's finally human form. And just, he's like, he's Rico Suave. He's just Mr. Cool Dude all of a sudden. But he's a, uh, he just seems like an infant when he's, I guess maybe because he doesn't remember, but why would that mean he's acting like a kid? And I don't even think we got the explanation of why he's living in that place with his quote unquote uncles and why they're abusing the poor kid. Freaking! Yeah, I thought it was a good movie though. Showed off a lot of really cool animations for the 3D graphics integrating with the real world. I thought it was really well done. I think it was 1995 when that came out, but it was solid. Solid spooky vibe Halloween movie. It taking place in Maine. The vibe, like I said, I think I said in the video, New England in the fall, just, it can't be beat. It actually can't be beat when, when it's prime fall, nah. This thing's like falling apart. Look at this. Did you get a good look? You get a good look at the the striations. Oh my god, man.